right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Fighting out of Ostend, Poland, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out for They touch gloves, and we are underweight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or it's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Straight punch lands. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It can't break your will. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. He gets absolutely... 
absolutely melted by that head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice head kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, nice jab. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He lands a switch knee. Nice straight punch. Finish. Oh, nice high kick. 20 seconds to go. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. <laughs> Round two straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Oh, big punch lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Way to hide that leg kick. Right punches there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. That's a big strike right there. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. Ten seconds to go. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful punch. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Lee's kick is blocked. Lands flush with that right hand. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice kick. Right hand upstairs. That body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh. Such a fast leg kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reaction. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big leg kick lands. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he is on point tonight. Nice combination. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Final round. You ready? You ready? Go, go, and final round. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he caught the his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice, sneaky head kick. Beautiful strike. Just misses with the right. Blocks the shot. Oh! <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage Whoa! of it. He's in trouble. 
He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. Hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice punch there. Liver kick. Big body kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh. Unbelievable. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Nice leg kick lands. Oh! We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.